Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued four decrees for the year 2018. Decree number one amends some provisions of Decree number 69 of 2004, which restructured the Ministry of Interior. Items 16 and 17 are to be added to Decree 69 2004, whereby item 16 outlines the General Directorate for Royal Court Protection, which includes two departments to be named by the Minister of Interior. Item 17 for the General Directorate of Security, Media and Culture includes the Directorate of Media Security, the Directorate of Security Culture and the Directorate of the Police Museum. Decree number two appoints the following at the Ministry of Interior. Major General Khalifa Ahmed Al Khalifa as a Deputy Inspector General with the rank of a Director General. Major General Abdullah Mohammed Al Zayed as Deputy Chief of Public Security with the rank of a Director General. Brigadier Ali Mohammed Al Khalifa as Assistant Chief of Public Security for Community Affairs with the rank of a Director General, Brigadier Mohammed bin Mohammed bin Dana as Director General of Security, Media and Culture, Brigadier Wahid Jum'a Doi as Director General of Guards, Brigadier Jabr Sultan Ahmed Al Suwaidi as Director General of the Royal Guard Protection, Brigadier Hamad Ali Al Murray as the Director General of the Southern Governorate Police Directorate, and Brigadier Abdul Salam Yusuf Al Arafi as Director General of Reform and Rehabilitation. Decree number three appoints the following as, assist as assistant undersecretaries at the Ministry of Finance. Ibrahim Mohammed Ali Abul as assistant undersecretary for resources and information. And Taha Mohammed Mohammed Fahmoud Mohammed Faqihi as assistant undersecretary for financial affairs. Decree number four, the following as assistant undersecretaries at the Ministry of Justice and Islamic Affairs. Abdullah Ahmed Abdullah Ahmadi as assistant undersecretary for minors affairs and funds. And Mohammed Abdul Rahim Ahmed Bachiri as Assistant Undersecretary for Court Affairs and Documentation. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued law number no. 1 of 2018, amending some provisions of the Commercial Companies Law, promulgated by decree by law 21 of 2001 after being approved by the Shura and Representatives Councils. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace the newly appointed Bahraini ambassadors to several brotherly and friendly countries. His Majesty received the ambassadors to the Sultanate of Oman, Dr. Jama'a bin Ahmed Al Kabi, the ambassador to the Hashmid Kingdom of Jordan, Ahmed Yusuf Ahmed Al Rawai'i, the ambassador to the Kingdom of Thailand, Ahmed Abdullah Al Hajri, the ambassador to the People's Democratic Republic of Algeria, Fuad Sadiq Al Baharna, and the ambassador to the Republic of India, Abdul Rahman Mohammed. The ambassadors took the, the legal oath before His Majesty the King upon the issuance of the royal order to appoint them extraordinary and plenipotentiary ambassadors. His Majesty also received Bahrain's ambassador to the Federal Republic of Germany, Abdullah Abdullah Dif Abdullah, Bahrain's ambassador to the Republic of Indonesia, Dr. Mohammed Ghassan Sheikho, Bahrain's ambassador to Japan, Ahmed Mohammed Al Dosari, and Bahrain's ambassador to the Republic of Tunisia, Ibrahim Mahmoud Ahmed, who greeted His Majesty upon their appointment. His Majesty congratulated the ambassadors upon their appointment, wishing them success in their diplomatic mission and in carrying out their national duties. His Majesty requested the ambassadors to convey his greetings to their Majesties and Excellencies, the leaders of states to which they are appointed. His Majesty gave the ambassadors directives to strengthen the relations of the Kingdom with the brotherly and friendly countries in affirmation of the Kingdom's approach of developing its relations with these countries based on mutual respect and understanding as well as cooperation and coordination to serve the common interests. His Majesty directed them to attend to the needs of Bahrainis in those states. He also noted the importance importance of the ambassador's role in supporting bilateral coordination and widening the horizons of constructive cooperation. The ambassadors expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King as well as their pride in earning his trust. They affirmed that this, his directives will motivate them to exert more efforts and further bolster relations with all friendly countries.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace Sheikh Dr. Muhammad Tahir bin Sheikh Sleiman Al Madani, accompanied by Muhammad Hadi Al Halwachi. Sheikh Dr. Al Madani presented His Majesty with a number of publications of the late Sheikh Sleiman Al Madani. He also presented His Majesty with a PhD dissertation in Islamic studies. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to Al Sheikh Dr. Al Madani, recalling the efforts of the late Sheikh Sleiman Al Madani in service of his religion and country, as well as his adoption of a moderate approach with which the people of Bahrain are known. His Majesty praised his contributions to the development of the scientific and cultural movements in the kingdom and his great religious and national status in the Bahraini society. He wished Sheikh Dr. Muhammad Tahir bin Sheikh Sleiman al Madani further success. He expressed the kingdom's pride in the national role of its scientists for their contributions to Bahrain throughout history. His Majesty wished them success in further developing the kingdom. He also wished the people of Bahrain unity and solidarity. For his part, Sheikh Dr. Al Madani expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for his kind sentiments towards the late Sheikh Sleiman Al Madani, wishing the kingdom further progress and prosperity. The National Guard Commander Lieutenant General Sheikh His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa patronized the ceremony of distributing the third batch of housing project certificates to of merit bestowed by His Majesty the King to the National Guard affiliates on the occasion of the National Guard's 21st anniversary. Present were the Minister of Housing Basim bin Yagub Al Hamar, Director of Staff in the National Guard Major General Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Saud Al Khalifa, the Housing Ministry Under Secretary Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the Assistant on the Secretary for Policies and Housing Services at the Housing Ministry, Dr. Khaled Abdurrahman Al Haydan. The ceremony began with a welcoming speech to the attendees. Then the National Guard commander handed the National Guard affiliates the certificates of merit. The National Guard commander expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, for his directives of allocating housing units to the National Guard affiliates in Bar Indoors and North City projects, affirming that the National Guard success during the past two decades stems from His Majesty's wise visions. Lieutenant General Sina Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa asserted that His Majesty's directives affirm his efforts and highlight the sacrifices of the National Guard officers for their country and the keenness of the leadership represented by His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to provide decent living standards to the people of Bahrain. The Minister of Housing congratulated the National Guard Commander and the Director of Staff in the National Guard and all its affiliates on the anniversary and the beneficiaries from the Royal Grant expressing pride in the National Guard's achievements. The beneficiaries expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, the National Guard Commander and the Director of Staff in the National Guard for their efforts to achieve prosperity to Bahrain's soldiers. The Parliamentary Division delegation headed by the Chairman of the Representatives Council and Chairman of the Executive Committee of Bahrain's Parliamentary Division, Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah, will participate in the 11th meeting of the Gulf Corporation Council's Chairman and Speakers of Shura and Representatives Council held in Kuwait. The meeting will discuss the mechanisms of dealing with reports issued by the international parliamentary bodies on GCC countries and review the GCC Parliamentary Committee on strengthening relations with the European Parliament. It will also discuss important common Gulf issues as well as a number of topics on the meeting's agenda. The Shura Council held its 12th session today under the chairmanship of Council Chairman Ali bin Salah Al Salah. The Council has approved Decree Law Number 4 of 2001 on the prohibition and combating of money laundering and the financing of terrorism, which aims to criminalize the collection or allocation of any funds, property, proceeds, or support by any means to an individual or groups engaged in terrorist activity. The Council also approved a draft law to ratify the amended protocol to the convention between the government of the 
Kingdom of Bahrain and the government of the Republic of the Philippines on the avoidance of double taxation and the prevention of tax evasion with respect to taxes on income and capital annex to decree law number 45 of 2017 and a draft law to add article 6 to decree law number 1 for the year 1996 concerning electricity and water attached to decree number 29 for the year 2015 and a draft law amending article 4 of law number 28 for the year 2006 regarding future generations reserves which is submitted by the representatives council A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed today at 1,318.76 points, marking an increase of 6.42 points above last closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, investment and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the investment sector with 57% of total shares. 115 transactions included 8,794,428 shares worth 1,190,941 Bahraini dinars. According to official data, the national economy registered real growth at fixed prices by 3.6%, while it grew by 6.9% in variable prices compared to the same period last year. Bahrain's economy has seen an increase in economic growth, largely due to increased investments in key infrastructure and financial stability. Positive indicators have shown the nature of the efforts undertaken by the government to promote the national economy in light of the current challenges at the local, regional and international levels.